Reading 45 from the Psychological Commentaries on the Teachings of Gurdjieff and Ouspinsky by Dr. Maurice Nicole, Volume 1. Birdlip, August 25, 1942. Introductory Note to Chapter on Good and Truth. All esoteric teaching regards man as between two levels, sometimes called earth and heaven. All esoteric teaching also says that if man on earth is cut off from all influences coming from a higher level, mankind will perish. Just as physical nature, as we behold it in the external visible world, depends for its life on the influence of the sun, so man in his inner world depends on influences from a higher level. If these influences are received by no one on earth, man is cut off and perishes. One of the problems, therefore, of esotericism is how to keep alive this contact or connection. At different times in history, different ways have been tried, but all with the same end in view. For example, different kinds of schools or churches have existed, which for a time have maintained this connection. But sooner or later, any particular school or church or focus created for the reception and transmission of these higher influences has died. But a new focus always appears. The death of a church, if we use this term, is sometimes called a flood in the language of parables. The new church is the ark that survives it and contains representations of all forms of knowledge and good necessary for a new beginning. There have been many stages of man in regard to his contact with influences from a higher level, and from the esoteric standpoint, man has degenerated psychologically in this respect. To speak in the language of the work, man no longer lives in the third state of consciousness. He no longer remembers himself, and so is out of contact with the higher centers in him and their influences on him. In the Old Testament, many references are made to different forms of teaching in churches in ancient times. For instance, many of those long tables of references to so-and-so who begat so-and-so and lived for so many hundred years are records of different schools or branches of churches. Again, there was a school or church called Noah. Another existed also in Mesopotamia and was called when it was dying Babel or Babylon. The Jewish church began much later. In fact, the Old Testament is a secret record of the history of esotericism. One of the problems of esotericism is how to raise the level of being of a man apart from his level of knowledge. That is, to raise him on the side of good. For goodness is of being, and knowledge is of mind. Man can no longer see good directly or be taught directly from good. His mind must alter first, so he must be taught knowledge or truth about a higher level of being first. But the object of the knowledge is to raise the man's level of being. 